We're standing backstage here at Houston, Texas with Chris DeJoseph, who is the head writer of Lucha Underground. And this is an interesting perspective because a lot of people don't know what goes on behind the scenes. Can you just take us through what an average writing, like the writing process is for Lucha Underground? Well, I mean, uh, we take, uh, we're very detailed in, in our storylines. Uh, if you've watched the show before, uh, we try to take uh, extra extra care of our stories and make sure that, that, that every detail is important. So um, we sit down, you know, a few months in advance before we start shooting a season, try to plan out, you know, your major story arcs, uh, major angles, uh, and then just kind of work from there. Obviously, in wrestling, there's uh, sometimes you have to improvise with injuries and with, with uh, with, with other things that happen, sometimes something's getting over, sometimes something's not. So you have to adjust on the fly and be able to do that. But, um, for the most part, uh, you know, we sit down and we sit in a room with a bunch of friends, stop wrestling, and kind of try to make the coolest, wildest show possible. Uh, one thing uh, Eric Van Wagenen, our executive producer, always told me, he said, make the wrestling show that you always wanted to. Make this show like it's the last time you'll ever get to make a wrestling show. And uh, that's why we've kind of just gone for it. We try everything and anything, and I think that's what makes Lucha Underground so special. So you were a fan of wrestling before this, I think it's safe to say. Definitely. I was a fan my whole life. I worked at the WWE on the writing team at the WWE for about six years. Years, almost seven years, and, uh, and then uh, I've done reality TV and produced that. And then when this opportunity came along, it was Mark Burnett, uh, the, the best <laughs> reality television producer in the world, and Robert Rodriguez, uh, one of the coolest, most badass filmmakers. And I found out they're making a wrestling show, and I went to interview with them. And the next thing I knew, uh, I got to be part of the team and, and help create this with a lot of really smart and talented people. Now, did you have previous working relationships with some of the talent here? Because you have some ex WWE guys yeah, here. Yeah, uh, that's really kind of how it all started. I opened up my Rolodex from day one. Uh, me and Johnny Mundo, we've been friends for I don't know, probably 12 years, and, and uh, uh, we had a lot of really good working experiences together at WWE on SmackDown. We did the Dirt Sheet, ECW. Um, so. Uh, we had a good experience, and when I called him about the project, uh, you know, I had to kind of entice him to get in interested in it, but once he found out who was behind it, uh, he was on board. Uh, same goes for Chavo Guerrero. Uh, he's another guy uh, who, from the very beginning, was one of my first calls that I made. And then Marty Elias, a referee. I knew we couldn't do the show without a referee and, and somebody who understood the, you know, the ring and, and everything that goes, all the small details. Uh, so, so Marty was, a, was another huge grab. Is there anybody that you see in particular that you would like to have to, on the show uh, in the future for Lucha Underground? I mean, there's a, if you want me to ask for a wish list, there's a ton of guys out there that would love to have for Lucha Underground. I'm not going to name anybody specific because then somebody will hear what I say and then they'll get picked off. So uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep that to myself, but I will say there are a lot of talented guys out there and we're always keeping our eye on, uh, on the talent that's out there in the world. Very cool. And could you just tell us a little bit about this new deal with Turner Broadcasting, getting back into the wrestling game for the first time in oh, yeah, well over 10 uh, years? It, yeah, it, pretty, super big deal, I guess. Um, now we're in Germany on uh, TNT, which is which is pretty neat. Uh, for a wrestling fan, you always you know remember the, those days of the Monday Night Wars and TNT versus USA, and that's uh, uh, cool. It's, it's just a start. I don't think it's anything to be blown out of proportion and make out like this is this big this second coming of like a Monday Night Wars or anything like that. It's it's a TV deal that gets us in Germany and gets more eyes on Lucha Underground and uh, and our, our, our definite uh, interesting and different product. And I just want to say one thing about Houston to give it kind of a local tie here, but the crowd was pretty amazing out here. I could barely even get in today. Can you just address yeah. the, the kind of fans you saw today? It's totally crazy to me. Uh, you know, we, we shoot a um, TV show in Los Angeles, so to be out here in Houston, and we did Phoenix last week, and to see all the Lucha Underground fans, and they come on with, everybody's got Lucha Underground shirts. It's, it's absolutely crazy to me. Uh, I think Lucha Underground is spreading, and and uh, the word is getting out about, about what, a, what a cool show uh, we have, and, and I think people really enjoy the action and the characters. Chris, any last words you want to say to the fans out there? Uh, just, hey, keep watching Lucha Underground. Uh, we, I definitely can guarantee you that uh, there are huge surprises in store for Season 3, and Ultima Lucha Trace will be the best Ultima Lucha of all time. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Ivelisse, a.k.a. the baddest bitch in the building, a.k.a. La Cigaria.